Well, let's get more insight now with our guest, Mohammed Najib, who's a Palestinian security analyst. He joins us on the line there. Mohammed, thank you so much for coming on to the show today. Do you think the two-state solution is dead? Because um, earlier on, Abbas's speech, I don't know if you listened to it, but it's clear that Israel has undermined, he said, the Oslo Accords through its policies, which are destroying the two-state solution. Those are his words. But this is all despite Yair Lapid's backing of the two-state solution that we saw on on Thursday. What are your thoughts? Our best spoke emotionally and his uh, speech in front of the United Nations reflects his deep frustration from the war that ignored the Palestinians and uh, they almost ended the two-state solution, the solution that Abbas uh, believed for uh, decades. And despite the Israeli Prime Minister El Abid, uh, yesterday speech about that, maybe El Abid wants that he believes in that, but the question whether he can achieve it on the ground and whether he is going to make decisions that stop the Israeli settlement in the Palestinian territories that will undermine and make the two-state solution impossible. So the issue is very difficult and Abbas's speech reflects that he's deeply frustrated and he's calling on the world to help him. Maybe the last call, the last try to get the help. Uh, you remember uh, last year he gave one year uh, warning to the world uh, to uh, end the Israeli occupation, otherwise he will make decisions. And today the one year period ended, but uh, the Palestinians were waiting what he's going to take a decisive decision. But it was also uh, disappointed that he, he just uh, showed the uh, sufferance of the Palestinian people, but didn't talk about any a crucial decision to take in this uh, battle. There's also a bit of anger coming from the Palestinian side over the possible move of the UK embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Tell us more about your thoughts. Do you agree or disagree? Yes, uh, following uh, the United States uh, decision and other small countries in this world, so uh, the UK uh, uh, relocation of the embassy in Jerusalem will uh, ch challenge and also it's a pillar for uh, recent Abbas policy and the Palestinian diplomacy. And maybe other countries will follow them, and uh, that uh, reflects the uh, uh, frustration and how the world ignoring the Palestinians and the uh, uh, Russian-Ukrainian war uh, put the Palestinian-Israeli conflict on the mm -hmm. roof, so no one pay attention to them. Just right. they look um, at a humanitarian issue, not a political issue. Thank you so much, Mohammed Najib, the Palestinian security analyst, speaking to I24 News.